there's a lot of things that you learn from and you got to take away from those games, right? And so, I mean, there's certainly things that we learned about ourselves in that championship game that I think is going to help us for this stage and for this game. And um, you know it better. I mean, that's that's what all this is about. You better learn from your experiences, good or bad. And so that's been a big emphasis for us, you know, in this bowl prep. Yeah, no, you're going to get some variation for sure. You know, I mean, they're going to try and put pressure on the quarterback in terms of reading and making them uncomfortable from a coverage standpoint. I think they do a great job, um, you know, disguising and mixing it up. And, and um, I think it's helped them all year long. So you, what was the first game moment practice where you realized that this team had the potential to kind of get to this type of stage? It's hard to say. I mean, you know, honestly, in spring football, you could see like, hey, this – this is a little bit different group than I've been around. You know, I mean, all of us coaches, because you sit there and you look across the board and you see a lot of talented players and see a lot of people that have played a lot of football, you know, together. And, you know, it's not like that everywhere. And so I think early in spring, you got kind of an inkling of, hey, these guys could be, they could be special. Now, did you know you're going to be here? No. Um, but we just kind of kept getting better and better and better. And then in some of those big games and critical moments to kind of keep making – making the plays, that's, uh, that was a credit to, to all those guys. And I think just their, their comfort and confidence level within one another, you know, and I think that's what we kind of saw in the spring was this is a tight group. It's a group that's played well, you know, or played a lot together. And there's some chemistry and there's some continuity there, you know, along with a lot of very talented people, you know. And so you can put, put it together and gain some confidence early on, sky's the limit. And that's kind of where we are now. Yeah, I'd love to be a head coach one day. I mean, that's everybody has their professional goals, and, and certainly that's one of mine. But, you know, I'm not going to waste too much energy, especially at this point in time. I'll think about anything like that. And like I was telling somebody earlier, kind of my approach the whole time is wherever you are, that's the big time. That's where you need to be, you know, and, and um, that, that's, that's been my total focus. You're caught up in the, the season, this day by day, and it's hard to reflect and see what you guys have accomplished. Just in layman's terms, in a simpleton like me, when a season's over, when, do, when does a season start to actually, I guess, make sense to you after that you're able to kind of digest as a coach and sit back and go, oh, we actually did this and this and this. And when do you think it'll hit you with this team? Yeah, I mean, usually when it's completely over, you know, I mean, for me, when it's kind of completely over. Now we've had this long break where you're able to kind of reflect a little bit just because you've had some time to catch your breath. Um, you know, but I think in totality, probably when the season's completely over, you're able to really sit there and think back to how the heck you got there, just all those things and everything that went into this, I would say probably after the season. You grew up in Texas. I mean, are you surprised that it's taken this long for a team from Texas to make the college football playoff? Yeah, I don't know. If I don't know if surprise or whatever, but I'm glad it's us. I'm glad I'm glad we were the ones to do it. So yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of pride with that. Are you just think that it is TCU just historically, you know, whack team college team, now now the Big Twelve and the college football Yeah, it's quite a story. Quite a story. No, it's uh yeah, I don't know if we would have been the odds on favorite for sure. Not really. I mean, we just we kind of have our system and, and, you know, do what we feel like is going to be best, position ourselves to win, you know. And I think we've got people and talented guys on this on this team and on our side of the ball that those things will come, you know. And so it's not like we're out there to aim. We get these huge plays, you know, every other play. You know, it's, it's kind of just within the offense. And, um, you know, I think those things will come. So... You get in a game like this, you start to press on just trying to get big plays, you know, probably things are going to go the other way. This is how it usually goes. So the big deal for us is just going to be operating at a high level and making routine. And does that change whether you're ahead or down? Or yeah, I mean, you always got to kind of feel the flow of the game and how, you know, how you're playing, how they're playing. There's a lot of things that will go into that. But, you know, our approach pretty much all year is just go run the offense. What would you say are the key differences Yeah, it's 
It's a good question. I mean, there's a lot of similarities for sure. Um, you know, we worked worked together for two years at East Carolina, and so I've actually been, you know, uh, I've worked with them. But yeah, I think just everybody kind of has their own spin on things. But you know, for us, we've we've developed you know some run game and and. Um, you know, I think probably some ways to attack people in the passing game that maybe has, uh, has stemmed from where we were back at Texas Tech and back at ECU. Um, you know, and so a lot of it just kind of depends on your players and what, what your quarterback's really good at. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's he's probably doing some things differently at USC because of Caleb's skill set, and we're doing some different things because of Max's skill set because they are different. Um, so I think a lot of it is is very driven on that. After seasons, you guys intrigued a little bit probably not as much as you think just because you're so consumed by everything and and um you know kind of got your own schedule and all those things but yeah i mean there's a point in time where we're able to kind of bounce some some ideas off one another but probably not as much as you think what's the one the biggest thing you learned from your brother what do you hope you've imparted on him as well um you know lee he He's, he's been so productive everywhere, and we all know that, but I, I just think the way that he approaches every day, you know, how consistent he is, um, you know, with, with his family, with his players, with his staff, he's just the same guy. He can, um, you know, he can motivate, he can keep people accountable, but just doing it in a, in a right way, you know, and I think that's, that's what I was able to kind of learn from him in my, you know, short period of time of working with him, um, you know, several years ago. Uh, that's, I don't know. You're going to have to ask him. I'd love to hear that answer. How would you describe the styles of Michigan corners, Will Johnson and DJ Turner? Yeah, they're good. Man, they're good players. Uh, got a lot of respect for those guys. I mean, they've they've made uh, made a lot of competitive plays throughout the season, you know, and, I mean, they have a lot of confidence. You can tell in how they call their defense that they, they rely on those guys to make plays. So, you know, one's got, you know, a tremendous amount of length. The other – not as much, but very, very technical, um, very competitive. Uh, so I think that's a great group that they have over there. Yeah, I mean, we've, we faced uh, Coach Gillespie, while he was at Tulsa there for a few years, and um, man, they were always just kind of a, a pain in the butt, you know. And um, you know, whether it's the, the scheme or whatever, I, I just think he he and his staff do a great job of of really running to the football and being physical. I think that's probably a little bit of a misconception, is you know, with them dropping as many people as they can at times that you know they maybe are susceptible to not being as physical. It's a physical group over there, and they've done a great job. Same thing at Tulsa with these guys, that he, that he, the job they did there. And so I think that's, um, you know, that it does coincide well. You see it a lot in our league in the Big 12 with a lot of the aerial attacks that our league's kind of known for. And, um, you know, it presents a lot of a lot of problems and rule breakers for you is, is probably the biggest thing. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, is finding ways to um, to be uh, productive running the football, and that's what everybody wants to do, right? You know, you feel like you can do that and you don't become one-dimensional. I think that's the that's the goal for us. You know, you start getting into a game where you are one-dimensional, I think it maybe is, is going to play into most defenses' hands, um, certainly theirs. And so just finding a way to have balance, I think, is going to be the biggest thing for us. Um, but, yeah, it's a great challenge, uh, great defense, but I think it's going to be a great matchup for us. Um, you know, we feel like we can, and we've proven to win a lot of games this year in a lot of different ways. And so I think for us, it's it's getting in that game and finding ways to just position ourselves to go win a football game. How, about, how much are you talking about possession, especially because you know, they want to hold the ball? But, I mean, how, how confident do you get with you know, too much tempo because of that possibility that they'll exhaust the defense and then the ball or try to? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know. I mean, there's 
I think it's always just kind of feeling the flow of the game. You know, I mean, they certainly could could play that way. Now they can score pretty quickly too, as we've seen this season with some of their big plays. So I think it's kind of just kind of feeling the flow of the game and then making decisions based off of that.